The phone hacking affair has been a public relations nightmare for Rupert Murdoch. But has it actually cost him financially? Despite huge legal bills, the Murdoch family's wealth has actually risen by about $6 billion since the scandal broke three years ago. To help understand why, we need to break down the impact of the scandal into three groups of costs. First, the legal costs, then the closure of the News of the World newspaper, and then the broader strategic impact on Mr. Murdoch's media empire, including the split of News Corps from 21st Century Fox. There's no doubt that the legal costs of phone hacking have been high. Back in 2007-8, News International made some small payouts, including around £700,000 to Gordon Taylor, the chief executive of the England Footballers' Union, who alleged that his phone had been hacked. Then bigger legal fees started to kick in. News Corp paid about $199 million in legal fees and settlements in the 2012 financial years, after stronger evidence of hacking emerged. On top of that came another $183 million in the following 12 months. And the company's best estimate now is that we'll have to pay another $66 million to handle pending actions. Altogether, the declared legal costs total $450 million, and they could escalate further with more potential civil claims and an ongoing Department of Justice investigation. That's a sizable chunk, even though it's still less than the $580 million that News Corp spent on the disastrous acquisition of the social network MySpace. The second big cost was the closure of the news of the world, one of Mr Murdoch's best-selling and most profitable newspapers. Revenues fell by $145 million in a year at the company that owns that publication, and gross profits fell from over $200 million to around one hundred and fifty. That's a £90 million fall. There was also a write-off of £160 million in publishing rights and a £322 million non-operational one-off charges and exceptional restructuring cost. Although Mr Murdoch launched a new weekly title, The Sun on Sunday, it has failed to repeat the popularity of the news of the world. Put simply, since the hacking scandal, the profitability of News Corp's UK tabloids has never recovered. But in a strange way, the phone hacking scandal may have been a blessing for Mr Murdoch's net worth. Until the hacking revelations in mid-2011, it looked like News Corp was going to be able to buy the parts of pay TV company B Sky B that it didn't own. That bid became politically impossible. But did News Corp actually miss out? On the one hand, it lost the chance to incorporate B Sky B's free cash flow, which is now worth about £1 billion a year. And it still needs to figure out what to do with its stake in the company, now held by 21st Century Fox. But News Corp would have had to pay at least 850 pence per share for B Sky B. That was the price around the time the bid was mooted. And at least in the eyes of the stock market, the value of those shares has hardly increased since. Instead, News Corp may actually have benefited on the stock market. When it was unable to buy B Sky B, the company instead returned cash to shareholders, and investors also forced Mr Murdoch to separate the newspaper arm of his empire, the new News Corp, from the rest of the business, 21st Century Fox. Since the split was announced, the combined value of those companies has increased substantially. Part of that came among broader enthusiasm for media stocks, but the split itself also helped to release value. It allowed investors to separate the risks of a struggling newspaper business from the opportunity of more fashionable television assets. As major shareholders in the new News Corp and Fox, the Murdoch family's net wealth rose from about $7.5 billion in 2011 to around $13.5 billion today, according to Forbes. Who said that the only people to benefit from the hacking scandal would be the lawyers?